Hi, I'm here to teach you about the new CAD Solus pumps, which will be coming to the unit soon. They're going to be used for peripheral nerve blocks and epidurals. The RN will be responsible for learning how to change the cassette and replace the batteries. Anesthesia will be responsible for initially programming the pump. They will also provide rate changes, any bolus that is needed, and they will also be responsible for DCing the pump. Nurses will need to know that blue cassettes and blue tubing are used for peripheral nerve blocks and yellow cassettes and yellow tubing will be used for epidurals. The tubing for both are good for 96 hours. When your patient comes up from the floor, the pump will already be programmed and running and the tubing will be primed. So nurses, when you get your patient, grab one of the IV stickers that we use to remind, stick it on your tubing so you know when your 96 hours are up. The pump will run as programmed by anesthesiology and will give you a warning an hour before the cassette is low. To change the cassette, nurses will need the key which is located in your AccuDose and the clinician code which is 999. To change the cassette, you're first going to want to hit the stop start button. Confirm that yes, you're stopping the pump. You'll see the red stop sign and you'll also get an indication at the top to tell you that the pump has truly been stopped. Insert the key to the side and turn a quarter turn toward you. Lower the lever and this will pop off the cassette. You'll take your new cassette, which has been filled from, by pharmacy. The pigtail will be primed already for you. Clip the cassette on to the bottom of the case. Raise the lever back toward the pump. You're going to get an indication that's asking you if you'd like to set the reservoir volume. You're going to confirm yes, each, and hit yes. Your code, as we discussed, is 999. So, After you've inserted your code, it'll bring you to this screen asking you what the reservoir volume is. Each of these will come from pharmacy with 250 mils. So select your amount and hit save. After changing the reservoir volume, the pump will ask if you need to prime the tubing. In most cases, you will not, unless you've had the 96 hours pass where you need new patient tubing. If that would happen, you'd connect the new patient tubing to the pigtail and choose yes. As I said though, in most cases, you will choose no. You will lock the pump. It's going to ask you to review your settings. We are not responsible for changing these settings. This will be programmed by anesthesia. You will just need to accept. You do that by hitting the accept. You'll get green checks next to each of the settings. And then it will finally ask you if you'd like to start the pump. And you will confirm. You can note at the top of the pump, it will say running to indicate that it, will, it is running correctly. When changing a cassette, you will scan the medication into Epic and request your cosign. The nurses are responsible for will be changing the battery. This is located at the top of the pump. You turn the gray knob a quarter turn to the left. It takes AA batteries. These just lift out. There's also an indicator to tell you which direction the batteries go. Slide in the new batteries and turn the knob at the top. When the physician has DC'd the CAD pump, it's the RN's responsibility to assist with co-signing and wasting with the anesthesiologist. Each of the pumps can be clean by using any of the wipes. Be careful of the electronics on the bottom. You never want to submerge it in any water. All pumps need to be returned to the PACU. They can either be sent with anesthesia at time of DC, or you can also call the PACU to return the pump. The key points to remember for the CAD Solus pump is that the RN is only responsible for changing the batteries and changing the cassette. These are controlled medications, so you will need a cosigner and EPIC at the time of cassette change.